All right, what's going on guys? It's Sam here. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to post hop shot in NBA 2K21 and the best badges and animations you should be using when attempting this move. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Pull up to door swerving. Back in the day, I was wordless. Started from the surface in the middle of the desert with a wetter hotter enough to break a motherfucking thermos, nigga. Hey, look at the flick of my wrist. Forget... Now, why should everyone know how to perform the post hop shot? Well, the post hop shot is one of those simple yet effective post moves that will always keep your opponents guessing when you're working in the post. And knowing how to hop shot also adds just another move to your bag of tricks when you're posting up your opponent. And when you're chaining moves together, this can be. Uh, I don't know, for lack of a better word, a nice finishing post move and it can be just downright unstoppable if you have the right animation and uh, create enough space between your opponent or I guess I should say your defender. This move can just be very difficult to guard. So quickly now, before we go ahead and get into how to do the post hop shot, it's important to know some of the factors that will increase your chances of this move being effective in the first place. And first off, I have some badges that'll definitely increase the likelihood of this working. And the first one I have is difficult shots. This is going to be a moving shot and it is a post move, but it's still a moving shot. So difficult shots will definitely help you or definitely help the chances of this move going in. Hot zone 102 is just a great badge to have. Very OP, increases the green window or yeah, I believe it increases the green window or at least your chances of greening a lot more. So hot zone hunters is really good too. If you have hot zones in the post, Green Machine too, because once you start greening one post move or one hop shot, it'll be a lot easier to green more. And then Deadeye too would be nice if people do somehow guard it. And then Range Extender, since you're gonna be hopping away from being close to the hoop, Range Extender will be nice. And then Corner Specialist too, because if you hop to the corners, it'll actually activate um, even in the mid range Corner Specialist. So definitely a good badge to have. And then Back Down Punisher too, since we're a post player, Back Down Punisher will just make it you know, it's kind of a given to have. If you're a post player, you want to have back down Punisher pretty much max. Now, second, uh, your opponent's defensive badges obviously will have a great impact on how effective this move is. And specifically, the Intimidator badge, if they don't have that Intimidator badge at all or like high up on it, like gold or Hall of Fame at least, this move will definitely be a lot more effective. So if you know, if you know where you get a mismatch, you know, between... Uh, you know, say a guard gets on you, this move will definitely be really effective, even though you probably would want to drop step if you, have, if you have a guard on you. But lastly here, guys, uh, animations, and this is probably just as important as the badges, if not almost more important for this post move, just because the post hop shot that I recommend, which is post hop shot one, uh, is just the best one in the game and creates so much space. And if you can master the timing on it, it's... I've had to guard post hop shot one the last year or two, and it's just very difficult to guard. It creates a lot of space. So yeah, you'll definitely, uh, I don't think in this tutorial I can get post hop shot one in any of these guys, but if you equip that and go test it out, you will see how much space that creates. So with all that information out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so getting into the post hop shot tutorial here, guys, it's actually very, very simple. It only requires about two and a half to three buttons. I'm gonna say two and a half because you're really only using two most of the time and then you just tap square. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead, explain the move and then show you guys the move and then talk through it while I'm using or doing the move. So here we go. I'm gonna hold L2 to post up because this is a post move. And then I'm going to press the left stick here away or towards the direction. I want to uh, post hop shot and then I'm gonna tap square and it'll put us into the hop shot animation. So here we go. Little hop shot, boom, goes in. Kawhi Leonard has a money, money hop shot. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it's uh, post hop shot one. I, I really don't know, but it, it's, it's money. It's definitely money. So here we go. I'm gonna hold L2 here, guys. And I'm gonna hop shot to the left here. Hold L2. I'm gonna press the left stick and square at the same time. Just tap square, here we go easy money and I was greeting these before off camera but man these I don't know it just creates so much space and if your defender does you know is not expecting this or there's not help especially if like your eyes sealed on this side or there's no one over in this corner I mean this is just easy money all day I mean especially if you have range extender or uh, that corner specialist like right in here uh, like right about here, corner specialist act actually activates and range extender too. So if you have those badges and you got a good mid range and you create a lot of space and you have green machine and you, you know, you start hitting one or two, this is going to be easy money all day. And 
they'll, you know, it'll keep your opponents guessing. Look at that. Wow. Green bean pull away from back here. But it'll keep your opponents guessing, you know, playing up close. And then that'll just open up a bunch of other uh, opportunities for you. But look how much space that creates. I believe this is post hop shot one. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the description. I'm pretty sure this is hop shot one because, wow, that creates a lot of space. And if I do find out what this is, I will let you guys know in the comments below or the description. I'll update it. But wow. This creates so much space and exactly why I recommend post hop shot one. But no, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Very, very simple move. I mean, you can combo another green. You can combo into this. Um, you know, maybe you're doing, you know, a fake here. You know, maybe you're doing the post speed boost fake here. I don't know. I guess maybe just do a step back there. But maybe, you know, you're doing a fake here, here, there, switch hands. Hop away, look at that. I guarantee, unless your defender knows exactly, like somehow has great IQ or just can guess, you know, guess perfectly, they're not gonna be able to guard that. Look at that. Oh, if you're going to the right, nope. You're hopping to the left. That was late, so it's not gonna go in. But this is just great, especially when you add in a fake, which to do a fake here, I'm just pressing the right stick towards the ball hand. And then hop stepping away. Man, that's just that's just beautiful. Makes me want to go uh post up right now on rec or park or something like that but no guys if this video helped you out hit the like button for me please it definitely helps out the video and lets me know i'm doing a good job and uh consider checking out my playlist of other post moves and just tutorials or move tutorials in general if you want to improve your uh basketball uh iq and have different uh moves at your disposal when you're playing nba 2k21 and also consider subscribing guys because I do, like I said, I make a lot of tutorials and if you are, if you happen to be a my team guy, which I know most people watching this aren't, uh, I do I do uh, upload a lot of my team content and I do live stream every day. So if that's something you guys would like, definitely hit the subscribe button because that would be greatly appreciated. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.